in here now let's uh, let's play around with this what we just learned right to be able to uh, create a registration and login set of use cases all right so what I'd like to be able to do is uh, we're going to use a we'll say a post all right so notice that I'm going to use a post instead of a get all right and it's best practice to uh, use a post whenever you're sending any sensitive information such as passwords uh, you know accounts uh, or anything that uh, might be sensitive information. So we're going to be using post because also the the inf that information that might be private information, uh, we can encrypt it, you know, in our in the body of the request that's coming from the client to the server, uh, as opposed to you know you, if you use a get, right? We we would have to encode it as part of the URL, which would go in in plain text, right? So we don't want to pass in username and password, you know, in plain text. We want to make sure that it's encrypted. Uh, so we're going to say post, uh, we're going to say API, and we're going to say login. Well, now let's first do register. We're going to register. Uh, so in register, we're going to handle this in register. There we go, register. Okay, uh, so let's, uh, let's implement this register. So to register, all right, here's a request, here's a response. Uh, presumably the new user, new user uh, is going to be in the body. So request.body. And this is going to include the username and password, maybe the first name, the last name, all that right, is inside of the body. And so what we're going to do is that we're going to store that in the database. Right? So I think we have a user DAO somewhere. Uh, let's uh, load that up. So const user users DAO, and so we're going to require that DAO that we implemented earlier. Uh, so let's see, um, you know, up one down to the DAOs and down to the user DAO, and the user DAO. We know we have a create user, I believe, don't we? Let's see, register. We can say uh, user DAO dot create user, and we're just going to put in the new user, and we're going to respond. Right, and this is the actual user, actual user. And we're going to send the brand new user that we just created. Uh, so this is going to be respond that send back the uh, actual user. Okay. Um, all right, so let's try it out. Let's uh, restart the server. And the way we're going to try it out is with Postman. And here we have uh, create user, blah, blah, blah. Let's create a register. User, I guess we can copy this one. Uh, create a user. That's not it. Online, yada yada yada. I guess we'll create a brand new one. Let's see. New request. We'll call it register. And we'll say, yep, store it in here. Uh, and we're going to uh, where's register? There we go. Bring it up here. And this is um, and the URL that we want to use, I believe, was API register, wasn't it? Yeah, we go. So let's grab that. And this is going to be to local local host 3000 uh, API register, right? API slash register. There we go. And it's going to be a post. And it's going to be um, JSON object. Right, and it's going to have the information as uh, username, and um, I'm going to say that I'm Joe, or Jose, and the uh, password is also Jose. Right, I'm not going to pass the username and first name. Right, I can do that later on when I visit my profile and whatnot. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to register. And it comes back that indeed I was able to register, right? I have Jose as being registered. Excellent. Uh, so let's uh, let's uh, let's now use this user we just created. Uh, 